guys welcome back to another vlog i just spent the last like two hours cleaning the whole house so i kind of want to show you guys but i want to start off this vlog it's friday i'm in such a good mood I've just been working on my computer i went for a nice long walk with my dog i went to the gym and did a little bit of a workout took a nice shower i just had my favorite breakfast in the whole world it's actually like afternoon already well it's my second breakfast i had a yogurt bowl this morning and then this afternoon i had a sourdough toast with it's like a thick delicious piece of sourdough with almond butter honey and cinnamon and it's like the best i slather it on there to where it like melts in and like seeps through because it's like a holy kind of red oh my god guys whoo Anyways, I went to Home Goods yesterday. I picked up some things, so I want to show you that and like little updates in the apartment. And then tonight, I'm actually going to dinner with some girlfriends. I haven't been like out in LA in a long time, besides like the vlog with Faith, but I feel like that doesn't really count because like we just went to an event. So I'm going to an art event tonight and I'm going to dinner at, I believe it's a Beverly Hilton, whatever the rooftop restaurant, Santa Lina, I believe it's called but it's Mediterranean, I'm so excited. So I wanna show you guys some little updates that I made to the house and yeah. So I cleaned up the little coffee table a tiny bit because I put more of the books on this part. I feel like this area, if you guys remember, it was literally the bane of my existence. My boyfriend's on the phone yelling. Frank, stop yelling, I'm vlogging. He's not listening to me. This little boy so i got these two like cute bases right here they serve a purpose because for some reason in this apartment all of the like internet stuff has to like go on top and it's such a pain in my ass so i have to like cover it with things so i do my best but i redid the bottom part of that and i really like it and i got those two things from home goods that is from i believe west elm and then those are just little coffee table books and then this is the same but i just cleaned up here and i also reorganized the bathroom a bit in today's video i'm also going to be sharing with you guys some tips that have really changed my relationship with my body relationship with food and have really also changed my body for the better and my mental health and just improve my quality of life i guess and these are things that i think are so so important and i kind of just want to share some tips with you guys the first tip that i feel like really changed my body and my mental health and my relationship with food and my body is that i stopped making rules i got rid of pretty much all restrictions and i gave myself unconditional permission to eat when i'm hungry and oh my god the chocolate from my tromax is melting my hand and what that did for me was kind of take away the novelty of eating and i stopped worrying about tracking and what the recommended portion size is and all of that and more so about how i felt in my own body and what made me feel full and i was actually watching a really interesting tiktok this morning and this woman was saying that people always ask her like she is a intuitive eating specialist i believe and she was saying like people ask how they can distinguish between feeling overly full versus like when to know when to stop eating um and she's like there's hangry there's neutral and then there's like thanksgiving stuffed you usually know what thanksgiving stuffed feels like you usually know what um hangry feels like but a lot of us don't know what neutral feels like and i think that finding that um that point of your body where you just feel like super in tune a lot of that has to do and she said this as well with allowing yourself to eat whenever you're in the hungry zone so whenever you are feeling hungry you should eat you shouldn't just wait because there's a meal coming up or because you feel like you've eaten enough today or for whatever reason like if you're hungry you should eat and i've also found that putting these random rules and restrictions on food times and what you can and cannot eat just makes you want those things more i stopped saying like oh you know i'm not gonna eat gluten i'm not gonna eat dairy i'm not gonna eat sugar i'm gonna try my best to eat whole unprocessed foods as much as i can um but i'm also gonna indulge and i'm also gonna eat processed snacks or things that i want um or things with not the most clean ingredients because i want them or because that's okay to include in your diet as well like it doesn't have to be all one type of food um, because i think that just creates this restriction mindset where you feel like you have to eat a certain way in order to be healthy and then the second you stray off of that you go ham in the opposite direction 
Um, so hand in hand with that is number two, which is stop labeling foods as good or bad. Because yes, there are foods that are inherently healthier than others. And like, you're not gonna say that obviously an apple or a cucumber has the same nutritional value as a candy bar. That's not what I'm saying at all. But at the same time, I feel like assigning foods like fruit or vegetables, this like moral value as these are good and like candy is bad. Again, like it's human nature to wanna go towards the things that we think are bad or the things that are forbidden. So the more that you restrict those things, the more that you want them. And by just allowing yourself to have it, and telling yourself like genuinely you can have this if you want to it makes you want it so much less and i think that ultimately it goes back to finding your why and making a decision that's different than just for aesthetic reasons because you know an apple is healthier than a chocolate bar and sometimes you really want the chocolate bar and you should eat it because it's good for your soul but i also think it's equally important to make decisions based on your health this apple's going to give me nutrients and i'm going to pair it with some almond butter to give me healthy fats and this is going to keep me full and it's going to be a really yummy satiating snack versus like this chocolate bar is probably going to give me a sugar crash in like 30 minutes in a few hours you're going to thank yourself for making like a good balanced meal versus reaching for something super processed again not to say that i don't just sometimes pick the sugary option the third thing is that i stopped weighing myself all the time i think the scale can be really toxic and i think it's fine if you want to use it as a measure of your progress once in a while like i weigh myself now i would say like once a month at the most and that's usually like just out of curiosity um, and it's mainly because I have one of those kind of scales that shows if you've put on muscle so I think it's really interesting um, and then it like saves it to an app so I like to look back and see how much muscle I've put on within the last year I've gained almost 10 pounds of muscle so since I went through my like weight transformation I have since gained weight and yeah I'm sure some of it is fat but like a lot of it is muscle and it's so amazing to see but if you have a regular scale that doesn't show you that that could freak somebody out you would be like holy crap i'm still i'm still wearing the same clothes i still fit in the same jeans why does it say i'm 10 pounds heavier like oh my god do i need to restrict do i need to go on a diet like blah 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 that's toxic and that's not to say that these you know scales that show you all this other stuff are like amazing and you should weigh yourself all the time if you have one of those scales no that still can be toxic as well in any way like i think obsession or going overboard in any regard is unhealthy you know like I, I think that there needs to be a happy medium so again like i like to do that if i am you know working out a bit more then maybe i'll do it more than once a month but for the most part like i just try not to get obsessive with it um i used to weigh myself every single day and every little fluctuation i would see would like impact the way i lived my life that day and that was so rough that was so rough and i just couldn't imagine living that way anymore um and i also now know so much more about the body and what impacts your weight and why we have those fluctuations day to day so like after the weekend if i was like planning on weighing myself to like see my like muscle progress or whatever or just out of curiosity i know to wait like three four days because like on the weekends i'm probably going out more having more inflammatory foods maybe i had some cocktails with friends like i probably am holding on to a lot more water weight than normal and inflammation as well so like i wouldn't even do that to myself or like the week before your period or blah 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 like there's just so many little things that cause the scale to move and you relying on that all the time to like show if you're making progress or not is just not good i like to go by how i feel by how my clothes are fitting by my energy levels by my strength um and how i look in the mirror and how i feel in that sense so those i think are way better at telling you like if you're quote unquote making progress than the stupid scale number four is focused on my sleep i have been obsessed with sleep lately my friend monica and i this morning um were comparing our fitbit sleep scores mine are always in the mid to high 80s and this week i got 191 and 190 which if you guys don't have a fitbit you're like what the hell are you talking about um it's pretty much just that i slept between eight and nine hours every single night not everybody has this luxury i know some people have children or some people have to wake up early for school or work i totally get it but if you can try to sleep 
I used to skip out on hours of sleep, valuable hours of sleep, to go do a workout or do something that I just like wake up early just for the feeling of being productive. And that was so much more detrimental to my health than just taking those extra few hours just to rest. Um, so I've learned that. I think that that's like really maturing is realizing that like it is better to wake up at 7.30 than at 5.30 if it means you're gonna get eight hours of sleep versus six. I'm telling you, it will make all the difference in your mood, in your energy levels, in your hunger and satiety cues, in your hunger levels and, and like how much you actually crave things. Um, it's just a game changer. I'm telling you guys, if you're not focused on sleep, please try to make yourself a nighttime routine. Like if you're not an early sleeper, just like try to work around your natural circadian rhythm, but like do your best to really focus on your sleep because I'm telling you, like it will change the game for you. And my last tip, well actually I have like a bonus tip tonight, but um, I'm gonna talk about that later. My last tip while I'm sitting on this couch is following the 80-20 rule. And it's something a lot of people talk about and I think it is just so helpful. Um, it's just trying to, again, it's trying to prioritize healthy, balanced meals, nutritionally dense meals, things that make you feel good 80% of the time. And then 20% of the time having those indulgences. And this doesn't mean like 80% of the week you eat clean and then 20% of the week you go off the rails. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about every single day practicing the 80-20 rule, allowing yourself those small indulgences every single day whenever you want to. And again, giving yourself unconditional permission to have the things that you enjoy in your life. And it is going to improve your quality of life, improve your relationship with food. And what does this mean? For example, I had a yogurt bowl this morning. I had a green juice. I had a coffee with coconut sugar and almond milk. I had plenty of water. I had a little ginger shot. Um, I had a piece of toast, like a thick piece of sourdough with almond butter, honey, and cinnamon. I had some trail mix with coconut flakes, uh, dark chocolate, almonds, Brazil nuts. So all healthy food, right? Um, and then for dinner, I'm going to this Mediterranean spot that I told you guys a few minutes ago um, And I'm gonna eat probably like falafel and pita and hummus and healthy things, right? But I'm gonna get dessert. I'm gonna have drinks with my friends I'm gonna have maybe like a, a nice cocktail or a wine And then I'm also gonna have an espresso martini because that's the 80 20 rule my loves like 80% healthy 20% indulgent same thing as yesterday. I had the same toast for breakfast. I had a big salad from Chopped for lunch. I had a few clementines and some protein balls for a snack. And then when I was on my way home from Home Goods, I got into a little bag of, I bought these little like Italian wafer cookies. I ate some of those. Came home, had a healthy dinner, salmon, potatoes, veggies. Um, but then afterwards I had some chocolate macaroons. And you know what? They were bomb and that's the 80 20 rule again like you don't have to do everything perfect and health isn't black and white it can be whatever you want it to be and whatever works for your lifestyle and i've just found that for me my mental health and honestly my eating disorder recovery um cutting out any kinds of foods any food groups labeling the foods good or bad is just absolutely counterproductive and i end up eating less feeling more satisfied and just not thinking about food and not being food focused when I implement this kind of more relaxed way of eating. Um, and again, like I know what makes my body feel good. I know what keeps me full and satisfied. I know that I need nutrients to be healthy and I really do value my health, but I also value my mental health and I know that it's okay to eat things that aren't healthy sometimes because they make your soul feel good. So yeah anyways i'm gonna keep working on my computer um i'm watching a rachel radke vlog as well and i think i'm gonna maybe make a snack soon i can't decide if i want a smoothie or if i want an apple apple nachos situation um but yeah dinner is not till eight o'clock and it's currently only four so i have quite a bit of time until then uh late dinners kind of are tough um, this is not an evening where I'll be prioritizing my sleep. I'll probably go to bed at like 12 instead of like, I usually go to bed at 8. Um, but 
it is what it is, you know, 80-20. Again, not every day is perfect. But that being said, like I always, when I have these like late night dinners, I always end up having two dinners because I'll eat at like five and then I'm like, well, crap. Like, you know, if I don't eat it now, I'm going to be starving by the time we go to that second dinner. So yeah, anyways, um, and I'm not one. I'm a fan. I'm telling you, this is a bonus, another bonus tip. Spoil your appetite. Like, don't go to dinner starving. Have a snack. Eat something that is going to satisfy you like an hour or so before you go to dinner or like whenever you get hungry. I don't know. Um, because you do not want to show up to dinner absolutely starving. You're going to end up overeating. You're going to feel disgusting. And it's just not going to be an enjoyable experience. And you're going to like inhale your food and not be able to like sit. Like, I feel like when you go to a restaurant, you want to like take it in, eat all of the yummy things, but you wanna like really sit there and taste everything and you just can't do that if you're hangry. So spoil your appetite. Okay, so I just picked up my outfit for tonight. Um, this dress is from Weekend Stories and then the jacket or this like long silky coat is from um, Good American. And then I'm gonna wear these shoes which are by, they're by LPA from Revolve. Whole outfit, well, everything but the jacket is from Revolve. Um, not sponsored. It's now five o'clock and I'm freaking starving. So let's go make a quick smoothie. Okay, so I'm gonna use human improvement, high protein. Um, well, it's called high. Uh, it's a protein powder, it's chocolate flavor. I'm gonna use moon juice, sex dust. It's just like adaptogens. Um, cacao powder, flax seeds, ice, almond milk, and almond butter. Okay guys, so here is the dress with no jacket. I'm literally obsessed. Honestly, in a weird way, once I ironed it, it kind of like stretched out. Like, it's silk, but like it feels like it got longer in a way, which is good. Like it barely, I mean, it still barely covers my butt, I'm not gonna lie, but I really love this dress. Um, the only thing is like sometimes it doesn't look as flattering on my stomach because it like goes out. Um, so you just have to like get it into a way where it like falls nicely because like the wind will blow it and all of a sudden i'll look like i'm pregnant and then this is the makeup i ended up doing put like some nice like shimmer on my chest as well but i think it came out nice just like super natural um like natural glam i guess and yeah gold vibes tonight um i'm gonna put my jacket on see where the girls are at and head out and then this is the final look with the jacket on i feel like it's really really nice Hi guys, I still, this is like a story of my life. I still have mascara on, but I just took my makeup off, did my skincare. It is 11.39. Can you even see that? 11.39. Anyways, um, my friends ended up going to that art exhibit thing and I was really tired and it was like 30 minutes away and then the Uber was 15 minutes away. So by the time we got there, they just walked in just now. And I'm already home in pajamas with my makeup off. So um, honestly, I kind of think I made the right decision. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pick up the vlog tomorrow. We had such delicious Mediterranean food. I had two drinks and I'm so tired. Uh, I had an espresso martini and then one other martini that was like citrusy. Um, and then for food, we had like this bomb bread with feta dip and hummus. And then we had a um, Israeli salad and a chicken kebab. And it was just so good. Um, but yeah, I honestly ate a lot and feel really satisfied. And I'm gonna take my supplements and go to sleep. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I just bought this wig trimmer off Amazon yesterday. It already came in. Why is this so cute? Like, it looks like an accessory, right? Like, it's so, it, I feel like it just goes, you know? Also, I was gonna put a second book right here on this coffee table, and I still might, but I feel like I don't need one. Like, tell me what you guys think. I don't know. Also, ignore, like, this is my dog's area, so he just, like, has his blankies. But, like, 
Also, this candle's ugly, but you know what I mean? Like, I feel like he doesn't need it, right? Hi, little boy. Hi, little boy. Someone needs to go for a walk. Um, also, hey guys, I'm just at the gym. Vlogging for the first time, like talking vlogging at the gym. I never do this. Um, but I'm on the elliptical right now. And I'm feeling good. I'm watching like some random vlogs. And then I'm going to, um, what's it called? Come home, do some Poshmark packages. Frankie and I kind of had like a cute day plan, but sorry, it's just like bouncing up and down in a way. Um, but I don't know what we're gonna end up doing. But I guess we'll see. He came separately from me. So I came on my own. I like had a two hour long FaceTime call with my mom. Um, and we just like talked about life and it was really nice. Had like kind of a slower morning. It's already like 11.30 and I'm just getting here, but it's okay. I had my favorite toast for breakfast. Um, and now I'm just gonna do this workout. Probably do like a 40 minute workout and then go home. Hi, I just got home from the gym. I treated myself to Starbucks. Let me show you guys what I got. Well, I only got a coffee, but oh my God, it's in the fridge. It's my favorite, like, sweet kind of coffee. Um, I don't get it all the time because I don't always love sweet coffee. Sometimes I want, like, coffee coffee. Um, and I'll just get, like, my go-to, like, regular, not super sweet coffee would just be, like, some sort of cold brew um, or shaken espresso with almond milk or oat, sometimes oat milk. I use them interchangeably. Um, like, just, like, a, a dash. And then pumps, two pumps of brown sugar. Really good. And cinnamon. Um, sometimes I do one pump of brown sugar, sometimes I do two. I, I know some to some of you guys this might be really boring, but some of you guys asked me about my Starbucks orders. Today I got a venti vanilla cream cold brew. Ugh. Anyways, when I buy these juices, I usually buy just the plain celery juice or like their greens one that's just like, the, I think it's called the Mighty Greens. Um, I like those because they're not super sugary. These ones are a little bit sugary, but I I still like them and they sent them to me and I still have them. Um, and it's fine, like honestly, whatever. It's fruit sugar. It's not something I would choose to buy if I was gonna choose a green juice. Like I'm gonna get the one that's like the greenest green juice just because like it's not something I really drink because it's, I'm like, ooh, yummy. But these honestly do taste good. Um, and we're going grocery shopping tomorrow. Wait guys, let me show you my fridge. If you know me, you know that my fridge never looks like this. Those are just meal preps that we're gonna finish up. Like, aside from that, we have like nothing in this refrigerator. Okay, so I'm about to get some work done, but I'm just having a little snack. I wanted to kind of close off this video for you guys. Um, the lighting is kind of hitting right now. I just took a nice shower and I got cozy. I'm in like leggings and a sports bra on this little cardigan. But I wanted to share a little bonus tip and it kind of has to do with me leaving after dinner last night and like coming home and i just had a conversation actually with faith my friend faith if you guys follow the channel or in the vlogs you would know about faith um and she was saying that she's noticed growth in me in terms of being really intentional with the way i spend my time and being really honest with myself and the people around me and just kind of putting in place boundaries and sticking to those boundaries and doing what's right for you and that in turn has made me a lot more present and again intentional with um the time i do spend with my friends and i'm able to like fully give them my full attention and just be a better person to be around um, and a better friend to them in the moment when I am there um, and the times that I choose to spend with my friends they know that I 100% want to be there that I want to spend time with them um, and this isn't me saying like oh you know like people have to try to hang out with me not at all I just mean like I love to do the things that I love to do and I love to spend time with the people that I love to spend time with and those are the people that I spend time with and those are the things that I do period like if i don't feel like doing it if i don't feel like you are a person that i want in my life then i just don't bother anymore and um it's just so nice to have friends who are super understanding and like i don't know accepting i guess of that and then going along with that um, I guess is just improving my relationship with alcohol, which I can make a whole video about my quarter-life crisis last year and like Kind of my whole big debacle that happened last year with me going out a lot and having to completely relearn I kind of went through a college phase last year. Like I had to completely relearn how to drink responsibly, I guess um, and have a healthy relationship with that and not feel like 
if I have two drinks at dinner that that means that because I drank those that now I have to go all out and like continue ripping shots and stay out till three o'clock in the morning like you can just leave it there the same way that you can just have one cookie or two cookies without eating the entire jar same thing with alcohol and you know I've realized this in myself and I just have to be honest like I do have an addictive personality and in order to not let that consume me and not let that become who I am, um, I need to work on it and I need to be active about it and I need to be honest with myself. And I also need to not put myself in certain situations sometimes when the only like normal thing to do um, would be to do those behaviors, I guess. So it's also like being honest with yourself and like what is currently making you happy at this moment and if you're in a different phase of your life than you were six months ago, that's okay. And your real friends will understand that as well. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I guess like literally my whole life story would be to say everything in moderation. Like I wish I could tell you guys that. The one thing I don't have in moderation is caffeine. Um, but again, I'm learning. I've narrowed it down to two cups of coffee a day. Um, and that for me is extremely impressive. Uh, you probably won't notice that in my last vlog, but that was like something that when I came back from Arizona I realized like especially vlogging it. I was like, holy crap. I actually drink a shitload of caffeine Like I need to really tone it down um, And I found that that's helped a lot I've pretty much like tried to cut out that was like the last time I really drank energy drinks like I've cracked one open and like had one sip twice since then and then i've just put the entire thing back in the fridge and let my boyfriend drink it because i'm like i actually don't really need this like i did a full workout with my trainer and we talk for a lot of our like workout time so we're there just for a really long time and before i would chug like an entire celsius or something and i was just like i had one my one cup of coffee in the morning and then i had a good breakfast and then i went and did my workout with rachel and i did not drink one bit of that energy drink i was like i actually don't need this i brought an electrolyte drink instead and i was like wow this actually helps way more than the stupid celsius did like that just made me crash afterwards and i'd feel so drained and i'd come home from my workout and just like be lethargic and like just dead um versus i actually felt energized i like ran errands i got lunch by myself like i came home and i still sat down to work like I felt really good after that workout versus like with the energy drinks. Anyways, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I wanted to end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope this was helpful. I am trying so hard to put out meaningful content for you guys and give you content that can somehow inspire you or help you feel better about something, even just entertain you. But I wanna know what you guys wanna see from me, so please leave that down below. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.